fear a contagion impact on commodities from a potential collapse of Evergrande? And if yes, how would you be able to quantify it? Well, that's a that's a very hard one. I, I, I think I've got to look at the figures. I've got to look at this Thursday as far as the debt servicing and whether they're able to achieve that. The second part of it is, of course, what impact it has to the domestic consumer there and, and the fragility to other emerging markets. So, yes, there could be a contagion. There could certainly be a slowdown as far as uh, demand picture across many of the metals. So there really is the, the concern. And if the Chinese government do bail out and how quickly they come to the rescue. But that's certainly no small feat. Electric cars, theme parks, and of course, 600,000 properties a year make up the Evergrande uh, business model. Uh, Peter, I presented some data, uh, you know, which kind of looks at the importance of the property housing market specifically, how July saw a big slowdown, August has seen a large slowdown, the metals market there is already starting to sit up and take notice. And mind you, you know, the 10%, uh, 8% odd sell-offs in sub, uh, sub-sectors in the commodity space is coming after very large runs. Uh, Absolutely. Could there, could there be more? And uh, what are the implications for uh, listed metal equities elsewhere, like in India, for example? Well, if I look at first off, you know, the, the slowdown or the, or the, uh, the, you know, all the steam coming out of something like iron ore, we're down to around about $120 a metric ton or close to it. In August, we were at about 163, 164. So that gives you an indication of what we've seen in that month down the best part of, you know, 22, 23%. And what, ha what happens across the other sectors and how they all are interlinked and intertwined Yes, I wouldn't be surprised to take a little bit of heat out of markets. So I'm noticing also Evergreen sitting at about $4.13, down to nearly 11% for the day on Hong Kong. So that really creates, I think, um, a lot of fear into the markets. And that's the, that's the issue, investor sentiment. So that's got to be contained or you're going to see further sell-offs and I think the fragility across a lot of the emerging markets and it could certainly roll into India. Hi, Peter. Good morning. Uh, like Prashant pointed out, we have seen this impact in China, but there hasn't been so much of a global impact yet, right? Do you see this impacting not global yet. metals as well? I wouldn't be surprised. The, the question is not yet. Not yet has it got to be quantified how quickly. I mean, we've got to, how they're going to bail this out and what impact it's going to have to, to the domestic economy in China as far as sentiment investors remembering that most of these properties are bought off the plan and then in turn investors put down their deposit and if there's going to be a run on the company or naturally how are they going to appease the the investor there's talk that they're going to roll uh from a debt side give the consumer an opportunity to take on board uh office properties or uh, residential or car parks so that whole storyline needs to be digested and then what other factors come into play uh, and how that rolls across Asia as a whole.